Hey guys, welcome back to In the Kitchen with Tracy at Tracy's Place. I'm glad you're back with me. I'm here with another recipe and these are vegetables from my garden. I'm excited about that. Uh, this is a zucchini and it is huge. It's about 10 inches long. And um, these are the last two yellow squashes that we got out of the garden. So I'm gonna show you the side dish that I'm making. It is so, so good. So stay tuned, let's get started. All right guys, so I am hoping that you can see that. I'm using my tripod, <laughs> have it set up somewhere else for another video. So I got my camera kind of shimmied up. But anyway, I am just slicing the onions. And there's no rhyme or reason for me for the most part for slicing onions, especially for a dish like this. I'm not trying to make them look pretty on the tray. I'm just slicing and dicing them up. So this is gonna go into my saute pan with butter and extra virgin olive oil. And I'll show you that in a second. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and slice the end off of the zucchini. I'll set it aside and I'm gonna cut off the butt end, just a thin slice, just like that. I've already washed and dried the vegetables off. So right now, you can see how long it is. I'm gonna turn it this way. I'm gonna cut it right down the middle. I have this real sharp cut cone knife. I don't know if many of you all know about the cut coals, but they are a beast and I love it. I love it. My son gave me this before he moved away. He used to sell cutlery. That was one of his jobs before he moved away. And um, he gave me some knives and I love these knives. So I just cut that in fours, as you can see. I'm gonna keep it all together with my hand and I'm just gonna dice it like that. And they are half of an inch thick. And I'm just gonna cut them all the way down to the end of the zucchini. All right, I'm going to cut the yellow squash, basically the same way. Cut off both ends, just slice a little bit off. And since it's more narrow at the top, I won't do the four cuts until I get to the middle. So now I'm going to cut it in half. and in fours. Keep the form with my hand and go ahead and cut it just like I did the zucchini. All right guys, in a saucepan, about two and a half quarts size saucepan, you wanna put one teaspoon of water and two tablespoons of butter or margarine. And you all, I know people are sticklers about butter versus margarine. All right, this is just a tutorial. You can use whatever you want to use, okay? So <laughs> if you have margarine on hand, use that. If you use butter, use that. Some people cannot afford to spend that much on butter. Butter is like $3.59 or so for um, a, a pack of butter, which is four sticks. And margarine is 99 cents for four sticks. It's not as healthy, I know, and most people know, but people have to get what they, have, that they can afford. So be mindful of that. Because I've gotten a lot of comments when I've used margarine. It's not that serious, y'all. Here I'm adding a tablespoon and a half or two of olive oil. This is extra virgin olive oil. And that onion that I chopped up, that's about one-fourth of a cup. I'm going to go ahead and dump that in. And I'm going to get it to saute. Get my spoon out here. 
Let me turn the eye up a little more so I can get the sizzling. And I'm going to let those get almost translucent, not quite. And I'll show you the next step. All right, now I know this is not the most desirable looking thing now, but this is not what you think it is. It is not chicken legs that have been bit and eaten off of. <laughs> These are chicken legs that I have torn the meat off of with my hands or chopped it off with the knife, okay? So it has a lot of flavor and juice in it, the chicken juice from when I baked the chicken. So this is going into the zucchini and squash. It's going to be, it's going to make it so good. Okay, this is what it looks like in the pan. It has all that jelly looking chicken stock on there. It's going to melt down and get in this butter and olive oil and onion. Now I'm not going to leave these bones in. I'm going to take them out as soon as I let them kind of simmer down and get all that chicken juice off of there all the flavor I'm just gonna let it simmer for about five minutes I'm gonna cover it and let it simmer for about five minutes and then I'm gonna take it out now if you have chicken stock saved up use that if you have chicken broth you can use that I'm not a big broth fan I use it sometimes when I don't have chicken stock you know saved up but um, the broth to me it just doesn't taste as good but it's still flavorful it'll still make the dish good but this just makes it savory very savory so you can use broth or stock um, you can also use chicken base chicken base is also very good just be watchful um, the sodium may be a little high just look at the back of the jar or whatever and look at the sodium count but um, yeah it tastes good too chicken um, chicken, you can use chicken bouillon, but that chicken base is real good, y'all. All right, it's been about five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add one cup of water, and I'm going to leave the chicken legs in a little bit longer. I'm going to bring that to a boil, and then remove the chicken legs. There, at a boil. this is what it looks like after I took the chicken leg bones out now I have a few pieces of chicken chunks in here that fell off the bone uh, if you do not want the chicken chunks in you are welcome to take them out I am going to put half a teaspoon of garlic and I'm doing this by eye but half a teaspoon of saison that's what that looks like. Saison seasoning. It's not coming out heavy, y'all. That's why I keep shaking. So that is about a half a teaspoon. I'm sorry, half a tablespoon. That was. And I am going to put in one fourth teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And I'm going to put in one fourth teaspoon of pepper. I'm going to mix that up. I'm going to let that go about two minutes and then I'm going to put in two to two and a half cups of water. Okay, here's two and a half cups of water. I'm going to bring that up to a boil. It is to a boil, so I'm going to stand back and pour this in slowly. And then I'm going to turn these down and let them simmer. I'm going to go ahead and add the yellow squash also. And this is going to reduce down. I'm going to go ahead and stir it up and show you what it looks like before I put the top on. Okay. Let me get that stirred up. Y'all excuse me because I'm using one hand to stir and one with the camera. So bear with me. I'm going to get that all stirred up and I'm going to go ahead 
and cover this with a lid. You can see some chicken chunks in there. Mm. So anyway, I'm going to bring it up just a little bit to barely a boil. Then I'm going to reduce the heat again and let it simmer. So this is what it looks like. It's at a little bit of a boil. I'm going to turn it down to a simmer. But um, this is what it looks like with the condensation on the inside of the lid. You can see it working there. So I'm going to let it go for about 20 minutes, well, 15 minutes, and we'll see where we are at that point. All right, it is on super low right now. It was simmering. I just turned it down to low. And I just put in two teaspoons of butter. And I'm going to put in... three-fourth teaspoon of Saison, one-fourth teaspoon of garlic salt, and this is one-fourth teaspoon of Cajun. You do not have to put this in. And Cajun does not taste like spicy or anything. It almost tastes like seasoning salt to me. So this adds a nice flavor, I think. So I'm putting one fourth teaspoon of that in and I'm gonna go ahead and stir it up. It lets off a, a lot of liquid. So this is like a soup. You can either just dip this out with a slotted spoon. Let me see if I... You could, you could use a slotted spoon to dip this out if you just want it as a side dish or to eat it as a soup, you can dip it into a bowl with like a ladle and make some cornbread and that would be some good eating. Yes, it would. So I'm just going to leave this on low for about 10 more minutes, 5 or 10 more minutes and it's done. I don't have any cornbread on hand. I'm not happy about that, but there it is. All right, I have it here in a little ramekin, and I'm going to taste it for you. That is really good. That is really good. You can add any seasonings you want to this. If it's not seasoned well enough for you, just add more of what you like and make it to your tasting or to your liking. Let me taste this zucchini. Real good. All right, thanks for watching you all. I will see you guys right back here on Tracy's Place. Bye.